game, South Carolina had 16 offensive rebounds, had 14 second chance points. Just how big was that? The fact they had so many opportunities on offense. Oh, uh, huge. It was the biggest key for us coming into the game. Uh, they, and, and they only get 61, right? I mean, so that's, that's a, that's a high percentage of second chance points. They had 17 in Athens talked about it um, extensively, watched a lot of it on film and, um, it's something that we've struggled with all year, of course. Uh, they, they're Hayden Brown and Josh Gray, um, when their juices are flowing um, from a physicality standpoint, match up with some of the more physical front courts in this league. And uh, both of those guys, I thought, did a really good job um, on the offensive glass, on the defensive interior, uh, scoring it, you know, versus our. Uh, our, our physicality or, or lack thereof at times. Um, they, they certainly won most of the battles uh, up front, 40 to 25 on a glass um, and our wallops, um, you know, at the rim and in the paint all the way down to the last Michi Johnson field goal that he made there in the paint. I believe it was his last one. It was a huge one that rattled around the rim. Um, failed us. Um uh, uh, as as it has, you know, in, in some other games here. So, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll continue to um, search for answers and, and address it and talk about it and drill it and uh, see if we can finish strong. Mike, I wanted to ask you about the, uh, I guess, the non-goaltending call, the slap of the back. But what did the officials tell you about that, about what they saw? Um, I believe it was Tony that came over and said uh, there was no goaltend and therefore it becomes a um, uh, a jump ball and, and the possession arrow uh, went to them. Ash, Jordan, any other questions? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll jump real in real quick, Mike. Uh, now just got the SEC tournament uh, to go here now. Uh, you know you've got LSU on Wednesday night. You talk about you know, trying to still continue to find ways to, to make something happen, just kind of work. Yeah, how you got to go about that these next couple of days before you leave for Nashville. You know, I'm 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 gonna keep doing what I do and and we're, what we do as a staff and um, challenge these guys, motivate them, love them. Got a great group of guys. Um, they've done some good things this year, you know, and uh, we've accomplished some stuff. But um, you certainly we're struggling, searching for a, a win here down the stretch. Um. But just continuing to remind them, which just started in post-game locker room um, talk, was uh, the fact that it's a it's it's a new chapter. It's a, everyone, everyone gets a clean slate. Anything can happen in conference tournaments, um, and it's our last chapter. So, how are we going to uh, to respond to um, struggling in the win loss column down the uh, down the stretch? I I didn't necessarily love all of our emotional responses down the stretch in game today that said um, our approach uh, in, in our preparation, um, our fight in this game, I thought was really good. Uh, I thought we played really hard. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, I, I talked about some of the defensive and uh, in, in front court deficiencies that we struggled with today and, and how good they were in, in winning some of those battles, but like our details, um, Defensive decisions. We we had um, we had four or five fouls that you you just you know you you wonder um, you know what what we're doing there where those what what would have been you know twenty two twenty four free throws turns into thirty one just based off of uh, just some poor decisions being a step slow getting your hands down grabbing somebody's jersey. Um, and so, you know, when, when you've got a bunch of uh, incorrect decisions, when your details aren't what they need to be, especially on the road, um, you, it's hard to have success. And then that said, you know, we go 16 turnovers. Um, you probably could have gotten away with if, if you just shoot it at a decent clip. And, and for whatever reason, we are really struggling to make shots. Um, and this, you know, credit South Carolina and Lamont. And, and you know, these guys have been through some adversity and, you um, they um, obviously finished with with a with a win at home and and uh, playing good basketball. Um, but you know, in the SEC tournament, when when we get some open one, I mean, we we got to make a few of them. We got or a couple. Um, so we got to get back and uh, and get to work and get in the gym and 
and I think confidence level is a big part of it. Uh, swagger, call it what you want, but uh, in this league, you got to step up and and just at least look like you know you're going to make it. And um, we'll we'll continue to challenge our guys because we've got some guys that have made some shots and made some big shots. And um, maybe the law of averages kicks in here in this in this first one Wednesday night, and uh, we can get it going from three, where we've really struggled lately. Just one more quick follow up, Coach. Uh, you talk about the shooting struggles. Uh, does that surprise you? Did you think y'all be a better shooting team going into the season? Um, yeah, it it does. It, it surprises me a little bit. The season can become a little bit long. Uh, we've talked about this, especially for uh, you know for certain teams that you know have had some struggles. Um, not, I think some of it is kind of who we are, but some of it is. Guys, a little bit out of character as well. All right. Any other questions for Coach? Thanks, Mike. Thanks, guys. Thanks.